In today's module, we're going to ask, how are Taylor series expansions useful to engineers? How are these expansions actually used in real life situations? Taylor series expansions are really powerful. Engineers often want to model real life systems using mathematical equations, and these systems are often most accurately described by very complex equations. The model is accurate, but not really usable, not really solvable. A Taylor series expansion allows us to approximate these systems with a simple polynomial. What's nice about polynomials is that calculus is very easy to do to polynomials. That's particularly important when we're starting to talk about derivatives, integration, solving differential equations. We can often arrive at closed form solutions for differential equations. We can control the accuracy of the model by taking more or fewer terms. We sacrifice a little accuracy, we gain a lot of usability. This lesson happens in three parts with three videos. First, we walk through the Taylor approximation of the sine function. This serves as a refresher of what a Taylor series expansion looks like in general. And it's also important because you run into this sine expansion again and again in your engineering career. Next, we show how that sine approximation is used in a derivation of a model of motion of a simple pendulum. Finally, we're going to take this simple pendulum model we have and we're going to compare it to the Taylor series expansion for an unknown potential energy function. We conclude that these two models are identical. We can use this result to say that we accurately model the effects of an oscillating building by comparing it to the model of a simple pendulum. We go from this abstract concept, Taylor series expansions, to a real life phenomenon, oscillating buildings. This is the definition of a Taylor series expansion for any function f. This is the sum, as k goes from 0 to infinity, of the kth derivative of f, evaluated at a, divided by k factorial, multiplied by x minus a to the kth power. We're going to apply this to the sine function and simplify as much as possible. f of x equals sine x. The derivatives of f will fall into a pattern. Sine, cos, negative sine, negative cos, repeating forever. When we evaluate at a, we get sine of a, cos of a, negative sine a, negative cos a, repeating. Let's take it a little further and let a equal 0. And then we see that the derivatives evaluated at 0 fall into this repeating pattern of 0, 1, 0, negative 1, repeating. Recall that in the special case of a equals 0, a Taylor series expansion is also known as a Maclaurin series expansion, since Colin Maclaurin popularized their use in the mid-1700s. Now I'm going to substitute all those derivatives I computed, and lots of terms are going to disappear. That sigma is getting in my way of simplifying, so I'm going to expand that expression of the series by writing the first five terms and using an ellipsis. Notice that I'm writing an equal sign. Because I am using all infinitely many terms, this is not an approximation. It is literally equal to sine x. I substitute the constants that I already computed. I substitute 0 for a, and I rewrite. I notice a new pattern. I want to write this series using sigma notation. I want to collapse it. I'm going to index by k, starting at 1. So here I have the first four terms, k equals 1, k equals 2, k equals 3, k equals 4. The beginning of my simplified expression will be the sum as k goes from 1 to infinity. Next, notice how the sign for all the odd index terms is positive and the sign for all the even index terms is negative. I'm going to notate that by writing negative 1 to the k plus 1 power. Lastly, I need to write an expression that describes the power of x and the factorial in the denominator. You know, they're the same. The powers climb by 2's and they start at 1. So I'm going to write x to the 2k minus 1 power divided by 2k minus 1 factorial. This series is exactly equal to the sine function. If you take the first n terms of this series, you'll approximate sine x to varying degrees of accuracy. For example, t sub 5 of x is equal to x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial.